As you probably heard, we have a pretty good outbreak of severe weather on the way. Start by taking a look at what we have called the uh, General Severe Weather Outlook. Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma puts this out every day. You can see uh, much of the area under at least a margin risk means at least some chance of some strong or severe thunderstorms. Yellow area is what we call a slight risk. Now, it doesn't sound like much, but that means there's a decent chance of seeing some uh, strong or severe thunderstorms. Now, as you get further to the east, the tan area, say from Buffalo down to Casper, down to the east, that's an enhanced risk, even better chance there. Now, I want you to take a close look at the uh, red area, say from Douglas out toward Torrington, now we're toward the Chubwater area. That's a moderate risk. That's very, very unusual for this part of the country. As a matter of fact, it's the first one we've seen since 2010. So it's been seven years since we've seen this. So this could be a really, really notable outbreak of severe weather. Now, you think of severe weather, three things. Damaging winds, large hail, tornadoes. Take a look at each of those. Start with damaging winds. This looks to be the least of a threat, especially across the Riverton area. Still can see maybe a small chance of seeing some damaging wind guys. It's always the case here in Wyoming. A better chance as you head out toward, obviously, the eastern portions of the area. Best chance, I think, will probably be on the eastern border of Wyoming and further on to the east when we get later tonight. You get more of what we call a line of thunderstorms. You get better uh, what we call Boeing. A better chance of seeing strong winds there, but still a chance there. And we've got to bring up the T word. That's tornadoes. We do have some threat of tornadoes. Green area, about a 2% probability. That's within about 25 miles of any given point. A little bit better across the Bighorn Basin as well as across the I-25 corridor. Again, a little bit better, more turning with the atmosphere there. Also, cloud base is a little lower, so it makes it easier for the tornado to touch down. But the best chance, again, especially, say, Evansville, say, on toward uh, Douglas, down toward the Torrington area. 10% chance of seeing one within about a 25-mile point, so keep an eye on the sky. We're looking at all the models this morning, a lot of the model soundings. The biggest threat, I think, from this, especially during the daytime hours, is going to be hail. We could see some really big hail. Just about anybody in the area seeing about a 5% chance, again, anywhere east of the divide, looking at about a 15% chance within a 25-mile point. And the best area in Riverton's area, again, Buffalo down to Casper, down to the east, I-25 corridor, 30% chance of seeing something. Now, what I can't predict here is what's called the hatched area. You go to the uh, Storm Prediction Center website and see that. It means it's a 10% chance within a 25-mile point of seeing hail. Two inches or bigger than that diameter. It's bigger than a golf ball. That can cause a lot of damage to vehicles, even your house. And also yourself, if you're outside, that could be life threatening if you get caught out in hailstones that big. So make sure you keep an eye on the sky. Again, the best chance to see Douglas, extreme eastern portions there, 45% chance, it's almost a fifth, almost one in two, of seeing very large hail within a 25 mile point in any direction. So to summarize, again, spirit thunderstorms turns possible across most of the area east of the divide during the afternoon and evening hours. Best chance of severe weather will be across Johnson and Natrona counties. Next best chance is the Bighorn Basin. And a little bit lesser chance across the Wind River Basin. And damaging winds and tornadoes are possible in all these areas, but I think the biggest threat is going to be large hail. Yeah, we could see some very large hail, greater than two inches, maybe baseball size, maybe even larger if you get a really, really strong storm. And most of the storms, between about 2 and 9 o'clock is when most of them will start firing, but the worst conditions between about 4 and 8, basically around the rush hour and a little bit afterwards toward the dinner, dinner time. And one other thing we got to talk about switching gears completely here, you could see some snow, some very cool air coming in behind it. That's what's helping to cause this um, severe weather outbreak. And across the western mountains, especially above about 7,500 to 8,000 feet, you could see several inches of snow, maybe as much as a foot in some places, especially the Tetons, Wind Rivers, maybe across portions of Yellowstone. Now, the valleys, maybe a slushy inch, but most of the roads, I think, will be okay. Most of the snow is going to fall during the day on Tuesday. With a very high sun angle, we're only about a week away from the solstice. It's going to have a hard time sticking on paved services, but early in the morning, they say maybe Togany, especially Togany Pass, maybe Teton Pass, could be a little bit slick at times, could be some slushy snow up there, so at least caution there. And one more thing I want to bring up, since it isn't on the map, I forgot to put it there, but across uh, the I-80 corridor, we do have a high wind warning across there. The south winds, it's a good crosswind, so if you're driving a high profile vehicle, maybe a semi, just caution if you're going through there, the south wind into this evening. And some resources, again, weather.gov slash RAW if you're in our area. Just change to R-I-W-C-Y-S if you're over in Cheyenne's area. Again, road information, www.weather, the Wild Road, I should say, info. And if you want to use the phone, 511 in-state, 88 Wild Road, out-of-state. And for any severe weather, you want more technical stuff, you want to geek out on it, spc.noaa.gov out of Norman, they'll give you all sorts of good information. Be safe, everybody. Keep an eye on the sky today, please.